Hi everybody. So today we're at the archaeological site of Necropolis. This is the Cassiopeia General Historic Outline. Long story short, let's watch this quick video and it'll tell us all about it. for the first time and lasted for more than a thousand years. At the entrance of African Gulf by Actium, two great fleets are preparing for the great battle. Octavian, adopted son and heir of Julius Caesar and his general Agrippa. Overwhelms the fleet of Marcus Antonius and Cleopatra, last queen of Egypt. will occur a year later in Alexandria with the suicide of the two defeated. The outcome of the naval battle not only decided the end of a bloody civil war among Roman forces, but was the end of an era and the end of Roman democracy. Octavian shortly adopted a new political system, the Imperium. Gathering all power to his hands, he was appointed Augustus, the first Roman Emperor. Honoring his protector, God, Apollo Octavian built a great monument on the hill where he had camped. Decorated it with the rams of the defeated fleets. base of the sacred hill, he built a city, Necropolis, a symbol of the victory through the ages, a symbol of the new era. At the Roman city, the Greek element was dominating, as its inhabitants came mainly from the Greek populations, from Ephros, Aetola and Achaemenia. The city was embellished with magnificent buildings, such as theatre, conservatory, stadium, aqueduct, nymphiums, and baths. At its seaports, merchandise and wealth were bought from every corner of the empire. Being between east and west, the city was a melting pot of people and ideas. Nevertheless, the city that symbolised Roman peace paid the price for the end of Pax Romana. During this troubled time, the empire abandoned the old gods and changed its face with a new capital city, Constantinople, and a new religion, Christianity. The barbaric raids that swept the city forced the inhabitants to protect themselves by building new walls inside the ruins. The city was reborn and thrived again in the age of Justinian. The walls were prepared and the Bishop of Necropolis embellished the city with magnificent basilicas. The respected Caesar's building was turned into a religious center adopting the new. However, it declined a few centuries later finally abandoned after a thousand years.
story of the actual naval battle of Actium, the 2nd of September 31 before Christ, and the entry of the unreplaced Gulf to the west of Actium was the most crucial naval battles of antiquity took place.
There you have it guys, that's how it goes down at the Archaeological Museum here in Provenza. So, we hope you liked it as much as we did and if you did, please continue to subscribe to our channel, uh, Oscar 22 like it and share it for others so that more people can see uh, what we're doing. So, thank you all. I appreciate you and hey, make sure you tune this in the next one, Sunday. 12 o'clock, alright, if you're in Europe, 1 o'clock, but make sure you're there, don't be square, we'll see you there. Have a good day, take care.